Hi friends. Most of us probably do a little too much sitting on our backsides, which can cause your booty to lose a little muscle tone. And this is a big deal because the muscles of your butt, your gluteus medius and gluteus maximus, are really important in supporting your spine and keeping your low back healthy, happy, and pain-free. So today's yoga flow is gonna give your booty some love with exercises to activate and tone and strengthen your glutes. Before we begin, if you enjoy my teaching, then please click the subscribe button, click the like button, and please also consider becoming a Patreon member. Patreon supports me making these videos and it gets you access to exclusive content like one hour classes, live streams, and a really awesome book club. If you're already a member, thank you so much. And if not, I welcome you to check it out. Couple props for today's class. I highly recommend a couple of blocks. If you don't have blocks, you can use books or block-shaped objects that are solid and won't collapse when you put a little weight on them, okay? Go ahead and place these off to the side. Let's begin our class in child's pose, shall we? So, bring your knees wide on your mat, big toes to touch. And as you exhale, sink your hips back to the heels, reach your hands out in front of you and let the forehead come down softly to the mat. Bring an awareness to your breath. I'm just going to take a few calming, centering breaths here to tap into grounding energy. So feel the earth beneath you. Feel the sensation beneath your hands, your knees, your feet. And feel the breath as it enters the nose, filling your lungs and body with energy, oxygen. With each exhale, feel a sense of softening, letting go of any tension or tightness in the body. Imagine this tension dissolving into the earth beneath you. And just take a moment of gratitude for the earth, our sanctuary, our refuge, our foundation. Inhale, blink your eyes open and come forward into tabletop. Wrist under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's move through some cat cows. So wrap your elbows in. Inhale, heart forward, shoulders back, tailbone lifts. And exhale, push into the earth, round through the upper back. Draw the navel into the spine. Big breath, heart forward, shoulders back. And exhale, round and push into the earth. Just move like this with your breath. Big, full, cleansing breaths. As you inhale and come forward, feel the upper back opening, extending. And on the exhale, feel the core strengthening as you draw the navel in toward the spine. Imagine space and mobility opening up the upper back and strength and stability, working into the core and the hips and the glutes. And coming to stillness, curl your toes under and lift your hips. Push back downward dog. Take a few breaths here, pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw the opposite heel to the mat and feel that lovely stretch up the backside of the body from the glutes and the hamstrings down through the calves and the heel. Breathe into that goodness. And coming to stillness, let's make a nice strong base for our downward dog. So wrap the elbows in and broaden across the upper back and push more weight into the index fingers and thumbs. Lift your tailbone, draw the navel in toward the spine, and push the thigh bones toward the back wall, feeling the heels draw down toward the earth. Great big breath in. 
Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Bring your feet together, inhale. Take your right foot back and up to the sky. Three leg dog, push through the right heel, extend and feel that right glute activate. And then step the right foot all the way forward outside the right hand. Bring the back knee down for lizard pose. Untuck the back toes. And just take a moment here um, on the hands and get situated. Make sure that left leg is extending straight back. Um, the top of the left foot is pointing straight down. And then you can stay here on your hands or you can take it a little deeper using a block to come down to your elbows. You can even bring the elbows down to the mat if that feels good. And breathe into this good stretch in the hips. So we're stretching into the, the right hip here and the right hamstring and the front of the left hip as well, the hip flexor on the left side. Breathe into those places. If it feels good, you can let that right knee fall open to the right a little bit, coming up to the outside edge of the foot, if that feels good. Or you can keep the right foot flat. It's up to you. Breathe and relax. As you inhale, press back up to your hands, place the block off to the side, turn over that right shoulder, bend the left knee and grab the top of that left foot. And if that's uncomfortable for the left knee, you can place a blanket under the knee. If you can't reach the left foot, you can use a strap or a dish towel. Breathe. Now we're getting deeper into that hip flexor on the left side. And exhale, release the left foot. Both hands come back down. Curl the back toe under and lift the left knee. And now step that left foot to the outside of the left hand and come down to Malasana squat. So hands stay on the ground here for a moment. Keep the heels lifted. And inhale, walk the hands back and lift up through the heart and the crown of the head so the spine feels nice and long here. And now, if it's a challenge to bring the heels down, you can use a blanket underneath the heels, or you can just keep your hands on the ground here. Otherwise, bring the heels to the ground and grab your blocks. And I, I like to use two blocks for this as a counterweight. And you can hold the blocks out in front of you at a relaxed position as a counterweight so that you're able to lift up nice and tall through your spine and, and close your eyes and imagine sending your breath into your low back, into your hips. And just welcome this space and this opening that we're creating in the hips and low back here. Bring the blocks back down. Hands come back down to the ground. Begin to lift your hips, but keep your knees bent and roll your upper body upwards to standing position. Sweep your hands up to the sky and then bend into the knees and let's sink into a little baby chair pose here. So we're gonna ease our way into chair pose. Relax the shoulders, relax your face and your jaw. And now let's activate those glutes by shifting more weight back into the heels. We'll take it down a little bit deeper and imagine pushing energy in, into the heels, through the heels into the earth to activate the glutes. Feel that, breathe into that goodness. As you inhale, rise up, hands to the sky, open your wings and take a bow at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, step all the way back into plank pose. Firm up your belly here and bring the knees down. 
From here, with the knees on the ground, wrap the elbows in and lower your chin in your chest toward the mat. And when you come all the way down, slide your upper body through into cobra pose. Untuck the toes, push into the heels of the hands, and then grip the mat. Pull the mat towards you, push the heart forward. Mm, stay up here for a couple breaths, breathing into the upper back, so good. Exhale, slowly come down, make a little pillow with your hands, bend the knees and just wash your feet back and forth here a couple times. Okay, grab a block and we're gonna work into something called arch ups and these are wonderful to strengthen the low back and the glutes here. Let me just demonstrate for you and then we'll do them together. So hold your block in overhead like this and first imagine really stretching. So stretch through your arms and your fingertips, stretch through your legs and your toes. Imagine the body getting as long as possible and then we're gonna lift the arms and the legs, but when you lift the legs, lift from the glutes. Imagine the glutes lifting and then come back down. We're gonna do that for 10 uh, reps, okay? So grab your block, really stretch, get long, and here we go. Lift up, lifting from the glutes, down for one. Inhale, rise, down for two. Lengthen and lift. Down for three, good job. Lengthen and lift from the glutes. Down for four. Lengthen and lift. Four, five, halfway there. Here we go, take it up and down. Up, squeeze the glutes at the top, down. Up. That's eight, right? Take it up for nine and one more. Up and down for 10, awesome work. Place the block off to the side, make a little pillow with your hands, and again, bend the knees and just wash the knees back and forth. And extend the legs long, reach your right hand overhead and roll to your right side, keeping your left hand on the mat for support. We're gonna work into something called toe stab hip raises, and these are great for uh, strengthening and toning the glutes. And um, the glute muscle that's working is the top one, in this case, your left glute. So left hand on the mat, move that top foot forward so that the top heel is just in front of the toes of the bottom foot, and then turn the toes of the top foot to face straight down or as close as you can to straight down. And then lifting in this way with the toes facing straight down is what activates the left glute. Okay, we're gonna do 10 of these. Lift as high as you can and push through the heel to activate the left glute as you come up. Here we go. Lift and extend for one. Lift as high as you can, extend for two. Lift for three, starting to feel that. <laughs> yeah, take it up for four. Up for five, ooh, yes, halfway there. Take it up for six. Lift as high as you can for seven. As high as you can, push through that heel for eight. Two more, take it up for nine and one more. Nice and high, squeeze that glute at the top and come down. Ah. Roll back to your belly, bend the knees, wash the feet back and forth a couple times here. And bring the legs down, let's move into child's pose. Knees wide, big toes to touch. And from there we come forward into tabletop and back to downward dog. Feet together and take your left heel up to the sky nice and high, really push through that left heel, feel the left glute activate here. And exhale, step that left foot just to the outside of the left hand, back knee comes down for lizard, untuck the back toes. Again, stay up on the hands for a breath or two here, align, make sure the right leg is coming straight back out of the hip socket, top of the right foot down, so the foot, that right foot isn't rolled to one side or the other. And then when you're ready, you can come down to your fullest expression of lizard. Elbows to a block or to the mat. 
Again, start to relax into this shape. Send your breath to the places where you feel sensation. Into the left hamstring, into the outside of the left hip and the front of that right hip. And again, you can let the left knee fall open a little bit here if that feels good. And from here, come back down to your hands, block off to the side, turn over the left shoulder, bend that right knee and grab the right foot as you pull the heel gently and slowly into the glutes. And again, use a strap, uh, use a dish towel, whatever you need to grab that right foot and just breathe into the front of the right hip here. As you exhale, release that back foot. Both hands come down, curl the right toes under, lift the right knee, and step that right foot outside the right hand for another round of Malasana squat. So again, set up here. You can use the hands on the mat with the heels lifted just to settle in. Maybe rock back side to side or forward and back to settle into this. And again, if it's accessible, come to your heels, grab your blocks as counterweights, and then lift up nice and tall through the spine. And close your eyes and breathe. This is so good for the low back, for your hips, for your spine. Bring an awareness to your breath. Relax. And blink your eyes, open blocks off to the side. Hands come down, begin to lift your hips and keeping the knees bent, roll yourself up slowly to stand. When you come all the way up, sweep the hands to the sky, bend into the knees, and let's find a little baby chair once again to start. We always want to ease ourselves into chair, little by little, breath by breath. And notice there's a long straight line down the arms, through the back, all the way to the tailbone, so the butt isn't sticking out. Nor is the pubic bone pushed forward. It's just nice and easy shape here. And now begin to shift weight back into the heels, activating those glutes. And we'll take it a little bit deeper. Bend into the knees, breathe into the sensation. Inhale, rise, open your wings and swan dive. Halfway lift, step back to plank pose. Nice firm core here as you lower to your knees and then lower the chin and chest all the way down. When you come down, scoot the upper body forward into cobra pose. Push into the heels of the hands. Inhale, push the heart forward, draw the shoulders back and stay up here again for a couple of breaths, pushing into the hands to get a little more height. If it feels good, just take it to a place that feels healthy and opening and supportive for your upper and lower back here. Exhale, slowly lower. Make a pillow with your hands, bend the knees. Just wash the knees back and forth once again. Okay, we'll set up for another round of arch-ups. So grab your block, 
Reach your hands overhead, really stretch through the toes. Again, remember when you lift the legs, lift from the glutes. And here we go, 10 arch ups. Inhale, take it up. Exhale down for one. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Lengthen and lift and take it down for three. Extend and lift, down for four, nice. Extend and lift, feel those glutes. Five, extend and lift, and down. Glutes and lower back, really working here. Down for seven, extend and lift, down for eight. Two more, you got this. Really extend and lift for nine, and one more. Inhale, extend and lift and back down. Beautiful work, place the block off to the side. Pillow with your hands and just wash the knees back and forth. Okay, extend the legs behind you, lift your, or reach your left hand overhead and roll to your left side, keeping the right hand planted on the mat and another round of toe stab hip raises, this time with the right leg on top. Move that top foot forward so the heel of the top foot just in front of the bottom toes and then turn the toes of the top foot to face straight down. Here we go, lifting through the top heel as high as you can for one. And up for two. Really feel that right glute working. Up for three. Up and push through the heel at the top for four. Up, push through the heel for five. Up and push through the heel for six. High as you can, seven. Starting to feel it now for sure, right? Eight, couple more, you got this. Take it up, push, nine, and one more. All the way up and down. Roll to your belly. Come back to a little pillow with your hands. Bend the knees, wash the feet back and forth. Send some gratitude and love to your booty <laughs> for all of the wonderful support it gives your spine. It's really important. And for the fact that it looks pretty darn good too, right? Okay. All right, let's find child's pose. Hmm. Let's rest in child's pose. Just a couple breaths here. Feel into the earth. Gratitude for this day. Gratitude for this time together with you. Breathing and moving, feeling the joy of and the miracle of our body. It's just awesome. Sit back to your heels, sweep your legs around in front, and let's end with a little stretch for the hips and the hamstrings. Janyu Shasana. So extend that right leg long, sole of the left foot comes inside that right thigh. Root the sit bones, big breath, reach up tall, and exhale. Slowly fold forward, but try to keep the spine nice and long, especially the low back. Or avoid rounding through the low back. So each inhale, lift and lengthen. And each exhale, deepen and just fold enough so that the hamstring is feeling it, the hip on the left side is feeling it, but your low back is nice and spacious and happy. And then find that place and rest there for a few breaths. Inhale, slowly rise. Stargazer pose. Sweep that left hand behind you. Push into the mat with the left hand. Lift your hips and sweep the right hand up and over. Great big stretch through your right fingertips. Really reach as you breathe. And exhale, come down. Let's do the other side. Left leg grows long and that right foot comes inside the left thigh. Root through the sit bones, rise through the fingertips. And exhale, same thing here, nice long spine. Length through the low back. Always like to come down mindfully, breath by breath, lengthening on the inhale and exploring depth on the exhale, but not forcing anything. And then find that place of rest. Hang out there for a breath or two. Mm. 
Inhale, slowly rise, right hand to the mat behind you. Press into that hand, lift your hips and sweep the left hand up and over. Stretch and breathe from the left toes to the left fingertips. And exhale, take it down. Let's come all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a sweet, honest hug. May you find opportunities to give yourself more love and kindness and compassion and attention and care today. Listen to your body. Give your body what it needs to thrive. Take your feet up in the air for happy baby. Grab the outside edges of your feet. Allow your feet to open nice and wide here and let the low back and the sacrum come down to the mat, shoulders down to the mat. You can stay still. You can rock side to side if that feels sweet. May your day be filled with lots of little smiles <laughs> and moments of peace, joy, gratitude. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release your feet. Let's find Shavasana. Bring some movement into your fingers and your toes, your wrists and ankles. Inhale, reach your hands overhead. Great big breath, great big stretch. Exhale, knees into chest. And roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat and bring your palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. Raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow and we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Thank you so very much for spending this time with me, for sharing this practice with me, for being in this same heart space together. I just love y'all so much and um, wishing you a beautiful day filled with light. Go shine your light out there. Man, the world needs it right now, okay? I'll see you soon, thanks.